Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this Coffee Cup reading. This Coffee Cup reading is for all Geminis for October 2022. I hope you will enjoy it and let us begin. First, I will show you what the Coffee Cup looks like. There it is there. Very interesting what's happening right now, this moment, okay, uh, which I'll go into in a moment. This is what it looks like. Now, don't forget there will be, um, for those of you who are new, be mindful to know this. For those of you, my dear viewers, who have been with me all this time and you know what happens. I have meditated prior to the coffee cup and written down everything that was given to me. And I was given a lot, actually, so I've got to get this all through uh, for you from the guiding angels connecting with my archangel. Gabriel and connecting with all the guardian angels of everybody, every um, Gemini, um, and brought down a lot of information that they want you to know. So let us begin. First thing I'm seeing here is that you might have, actually, I'll just put my glasses on to be 100% and see deeper. I'm looking at this sector here, right at the beginning. Okay, so the beginning is connected. The whenever they, it connects to the ending, it's very interesting. It seems like you might have run into some difficulty um, at this point in time. But don't worry. Um, sometimes, you know, things might look like as though they're failing and they're not going the way you want. But you can simplify it. You will see... This is simply part of your journey and you need simplicity and a clear uh, thinking. Uh, clear thoughts are going to help you. But the most important factor is that you need to know what they're trying to tell you, what your guiding angels are trying to tell you, is that you need to, you know, there is a, there is a change that's needed. You need to make the necessary change in order to move forward. Changes are needed. You need to follow your gut feeling, your intuition, your higher self is telling you how to maintain your vision, how to organize the, these changes, how to orchestrate the life you want and finally reach your goals so that you can be happy. Whether it's your um, home surroundings, love life, or your work life, something needs to change and you need to not ignore it and avoid it. Try to put it into action, make the necessary changes so that you can move forward and be happy, ultimately so that you can be happy. Some of you are fearing something, fear of betrayal, perhaps some of you feeling threatened, some of you somehow, some way, you're not quite happy there is a bit of fear maybe you are maybe you are facing some sort of negativity uh, or there might be untrustworthy people around you there is some sort of a fear you need to focus your intention on really letting go of fear or deflecting it away from you and um you know, know that your guiding angels are watching over you and they are going to bring the light. light. The light will be pouring into your life. They are there watching for you and protecting you. You're not alone. But I do understand that there is fear. I do see it. Um, it shows like there might be someone that might be a little bit greedy or there might be someone that might be a bit materialistic or there might be someone that you might be dealing around that might be a bit selfish and has no, you know, they have no regard for others. There might be someone like that in your daily life that you might be tired of their control or they're trying to control you. So you've got to really know how to maneuver your way out of this. You don't want to be in an unhappy uh, situation. You might be caught in an unhappy situation. There is also something, some dark secret that is within you that you can't release. You want to let go, but you can't release it. It's so deep and so dark. For you, it might be dark. It might not be that dark. It might be connected to some sort of addiction, sexual addiction or some intimacy. There might be some secret about a sexuality or something. Um, you need to be really careful because some of you could be involved in some sort of um, substance abuse or something that you're doing, you know, some addiction that you need to be very careful of or try to control. Some of you could be overspending or, um, you know, this is costing money, this addiction. And you've got this compulsion to, to do it or to use it or to, there's a need for it. Um, you need to really judge the situation and see the value if it's, if it's all worth um, the effort, there is a situation that's very controlling, but you will heal from that. It might be something you're doing too much. It will come to an end. Family changes are happening here. Something is happening with family changes. I feel some of you could be dealing with some sort of conflict, some sort of disagreement. Caution is needed. Caution is needed. Okay, so I see this black pot here brewing. Maybe something has been happening or something underhanded sort of 
or you might see it as though it's something underhanded uh, against you or, or or it could be you know it could be to do with greed um it could be to do with some obstacles again it could be to do with some secrets uh you know there's some there might be an opposition it could be at home or work but there are yeah there is a rival here there is someone challenging your authority and you don't like it and you're getting angry because you're putting up and you might just explode because um the arguments are, are daily this is an everyday thing so it must be at work it's an every, it could be at home too it could be home or work uh, something that's brewing like a coffee pot brewing and brewing and the frustrations are making life and your time daily time difficult there's difficulties some bad luck and some nuisance is aggravating you, but that is going to come to an end. It is making you emotionally unhappy, sort of um, dissatisfied with where you are, whether it's home or work. You're dissatisfied with, you know, with what's happening. And you want to shift your focus from just money and possessions and material gain. You need something more now in your life. You feel it. It's like as though you are emotionally exhausted or, or lacking emotional fulfillment. This is going to making you have go through a loss, loss of interest in your normal activities, not so happy, a bit depressed, maybe self-absorbed a little bit, maybe because you're not really happy because you're not getting the emotional fulfillment and you're not finding the answer to happiness. So you're questioning these questions, questions everywhere. I feel like, you know, Some of you might be really afraid of coming out or letting a secret out into the light. Something hidden inside you is eating you up. It's making you vulnerable and you don't like to be vulnerable. But always remember, wherever there's darkness, there's light and light is pouring into your life. It will accentuate, um, it will accentuate. Uh, the darkness is going to accentuate the brightness and it will clear the situations time is going to be a factor that is standing in your way time is going to be it within due time you'll see things happening and moving i see brightness i see clarity i see light coming into your life i see um, clearly a situation will change and the circumstances of the situation will change too so um you really need to enhance or embrace clarity in your life and you will see things are going to get much better brighter and much better i feel like you need to face your fears there is a matter of fears here um which really you need to face your fears and farewell to this uh fear these fear phantoms you know re remove them and face them so that you can and if you need to ask for help then do so ask help for help to see how you can um, remove these fears you can ask someone more wiser what you really need find out what you really need to do to face your fears or be be willing to accept support when support is um, given to you changes are very important you have to go through changes again i'm showing changes and it shows here that many choices are confronting you now and you need to choose um the correct one only one is correct it shows only one is correct and you need to know that all the others can bring disaster or running away from decisions is not going to be helpful at all Problems and commitments, you know, make things worse because you need to first, the first thing is that you need to know that you need to make a choice and you have to be truthful with yourself when you make that choice. Um, and, and if you try to do something to over, what's the word, to avoid uh, making the right choice, then there is always going to be difficulties and and there will be a lot of problems and and and, it, and you just got to do you just got to face the truth and you know come up with an answer even if you take time out and rest and 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 you know you do need to get some rest i feel like your body and physically emotionally you're very very tired even though um you get up with this energy in you but deep inside you know that you are sort of um quite tired and you need help you need help and the help that i'm talking about is rest and you know self-care is so important you need to take a risk to venture into you know into into really getting what you want to get the happiness and emotional fulfillment and i feel like two and a half it's shown here two and a half could be two and a half timing two and a half weeks two and a half months you might get there some of you are leaving or somebody's leaving someone around you is leaving somebody's leaving 
sorry, I just had to remove something. Um, I do feel like someone is leaving. And um, this leaving could be because somebody's relocating to a better life, or perhaps it shows growth of a personal power or courage. That could be part of it. You will demand respect and attention from others. Otherwise, you are maybe the one who is sort of leaving. So you might be embarking on this new adventure. That That's it. I will either demand this. I have to have my... I have to have things a little bit my way, a little bit of respect, and um, so that you can be empowered again. And um, you'll see that things are becoming... After putting this on, like you're leaving or relocating or thinking of relocating, you'll see that things are falling into place. And you might be committing you know, your energy into something wonderful, into a new project. And this new project is going to be quite profitable. Within the next few weeks, again, I'm shown here, uh, but it doesn't say like it's a few, one, two, three, yeah, two and a half, three weeks. Something interesting is going to happen. Some truth is going to come to light. Some sort of serenity or guiding angels are intervening and bringing forth some sort of, they're cutting through some truth, bringing some truth on. And, um, and you're, you know, you're finally knowing if something is happening that's making you feel like you're standing at, um, at the beginning of a great journey of love. So be ready. Be ready. There's a beautiful journey of life, love, of love destined for you. So, um, you are also searching for the, for freedom. I see the gift of freedom given to you. You're breaking away from your attachments and wanting your freedom. This is the time where I was seeing relocation. Some of you are considering relocation. But then what's happening after that? I see forgiveness. So, you know, you're seeing things a bit more clearly. I see glasses here and the light, uh, light coming in through. And I'm seeing that you're seeing clearly there's also forgiveness. And there is someone wonderful that is um, someone that really cares about you, a very hardworking person, someone that is really hard worker, somebody that is financially successful. They're very patient with you. They do care about you. This person's got earth energy, very strong earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, they're realistic. They're down to earth. And they follow through. You know, they have a word of gold. If they say something, they'll do it. So don't underestimate sometimes the power of their passion for you or their love or their care for you if it's not um, a love situation. You need to know that you are going to be putting the past behind you. You're releasing it. You're embracing new possibilities. I feel like there's a new path that's going to be available for you uh, or a new way of life or the way that I said that you might be changing your life and bringing forth what you want and putting it there. And that is going to make your relationship work well. There's a soulmate relationship here destined for you, whether you have met this person already and you might be... Um, conflicting because you're not living the life you want you are gonna make the changes and and you will have this new for some of you it's going to be a new love affair but it's going to be spectacular because you're in sync with this person you are so connected there is past life connection beyond this lifetime there is so much passion between you and this this person that there is going to be forgiveness if there was um, misunderstandings or situations that needed change you you know you are confronting that and dealing with that and you're noticing that your connections are becoming spectacular there's a lot of healing in this relationship so things that weren't working healing forgiveness and you're starting new a new page this will dramatically change your life and uplift you to levels of happiness where you're embracing this incredible enthusiasm you want to shout to the heavens with happiness and there is so many blessings coming through with you standing here, looking at the heavens and, and, and really happy with the changes that you made. There's all these butterflies here showing that you're so happy with the changes you made. Romance is booming, booming, booming everywhere. There's love hearts everywhere. Romance, kissing, holding, touching, a lot of touching, touching, so much touching. The union of hearts is uniting here together and you're growing. There's a beautiful path, love connection really, um, you know, it defies explanation. You can't really, really put it into words the way you feel about this person. And this is the situation is growing. I, I see that the mouth here is shown speaking and words. Okay, so speaking with perhaps love, speaking with, with words of love, speaking with a language of love, loving words, loving words. Loving words go a long way. They are so powerful. 
and they bring on change. So do use loving words to bring on change, the, the power to change your life, to get what you want. Use loving words. And this is going to support you to move forward with this relationship. Now, what I'm seeing here is very intriguing because I'm seeing, as I was saying, my dear viewer, my dear Gemini, and cross watchers of, of course welcome i'm seeing that you are reaching to a level of uh, a very rewarding level from the universe there's a lot of rewards coming your way it's as though you're completing a, a major chapter where you had to make change and come to terms and accept situations acceptance is, is everything forgiveness is everything i see a completion i see that there is a great victory and there's a lot of peace and you want that you've always wanted peace liberation freedom i'm seeing that you are feeling free and i'm feeling i'm seeing a big line here which shows that you are going to be um there's going to be strength you are going to be strong again you are going to be empowered again and i feel like everything that you've strived for now it's within your reach and you are getting exactly what you want everything and um and you're meeting halfway with someone and, and reaching to a very, very comfortable level. I feel like you are going to be rewarded big time. Your accomplishments are going to be re rewarded. And I feel like you are going to reap the harvest of all your hard work, everything you did. So this is a time for victory. This is a time for celebration. Uh, this is a time you'll see that you'll, you have mastered so much in your life, self-sufficiency, independence, security, and you know, you've done hard work, but it's paying off big time. A lot of rewards are coming your way, big rewards. You're harvesting all that you have done, big rewards, abundance pouring into your life, and an amazing relationship that's growing and growing and becoming eternal. A love relationship unlike anything you've had before. This is involving a very emotional, a very strong emotional bond that's taking place. Um... This is someone really incredible. For some of you, it's someone that's, you know, a kindred soul, perhaps someone from your past lives. Uh, for some of you, it could be family member, friend, business associate, partner. It could be anyone. But I do see a great love life that's growing and growing. And it has so many branches and so many chapters. And this situation is just becoming, you know, it's, it's, you're going through a lot of realization until you're reaching here. But you're noticing that you will be thriving together and building together and expanding together. I also feel like there is something uh, that is going to be uh, needing your attention. The light is pouring into this life that you will be building with this person. I do see a piece of land. Uh, and there could be a beautiful house built on this land. There is a trip here also. Some of you might be going on a trip, but this might happen uh, after the trip where this land is bought, where you are planning to build or you're planning to buy a place. But there is a small hill there and you will love this area. I'm seeing the, le the orange, the color orange here being nominated. And there is something that you want from your partner and you are going to get it without a doubt this, your partner is going to give you what you want i am seeing something uh, to do with the water the water element here is very strong some this partner of yours maybe they have water within them there's water energy which is scorpio cancer or pisces either one i also see that the sacral chakra is shown now i'm trying to remember what the sacral chakra is about i'm shown that under the navel is nominated um the sacral chakra which is the second chakra yes it is below the navel and i'm trying to see why is this here i know it's connected to oh yeah water of course emotions it's connected to emotions it's also connected to desire creativity and sexuality so your sexual life your intimacy is going to expand you are going to balance have a great balance also balance is needed to keep a balance of your well-being your love life, your desires. Um, I also feel like some of you, perhaps they need the balance by doing something. Maybe you should consider, maybe you should consider um, try something like dancing or doing some sort of movement um, with your hips or your lower abdomen. Perhaps, um, you know, some sort of meditation, color meditation, use the orange, it's going to help you. And also practicing yoga, that could be also a uh, support because, you you know, you, you express your sexuality and your nurturing uh, power through, um, you know, through the sacral 
uh, chakra and I feel like you know you need to remember that you do matter you need self-care you need to take care of yourself you need to release a little bit and have a little bit of fun um, and bring fun into your life bring happiness bring yoga bring dancing bring whatever it takes to take you to the next level but what's amazing here what I'm seeing also right at the end here I'm seeing that my dear Gemini you are your partner is going to be someone wonderful I feel like there is here the symbol of Virgo I see cancer there's a small crab here uh, there are two actually two Virgos next to each other so the impact of Virgo is very strong and we had the earth energy before I said Virgo Taurus Capricorn but now it's nominating Virgo so I've got the symbol of Virgo twice Virgo very strong in this person that you're destined to be with then I see um, a crab which is cancer and I'm seeing a scorpion which is a Scorpio so water energy here very strong also but they're actually nominating now they're not just saying like it's not Pisces it's cancer and Scorpio very strong and then there is Sagittarius as the archer small archer there too so this is the combination of the person that you are going to be with this partner that you're destined to be with for the rest of your life you will love this partner because they're very set in their way not set sorry they're very calm in their way they they have a calm nature they're very giving very deep very analytical and they do care tremendously they love and their loving is very nurturing with a double virgo they're so nurturing and they're so deep and so much into giving you and taking care of you so um this is really magnificent so this person you will love um their character they're warm um, they're down to earth they're practical and they're very hard worker workers now I've got here double tiger two tigers here next to each other Chinese year of the tiger very strong here whether it's yourself or your partner could be both because there's two tigers here I also see the Chinese year of the rat here for some of you you might be dealing with the rat or you could be the Chinese year of the rat yourself there's the rat there and then I'm seeing a dragon also now so saying my dear viewers um, my dear Gemini um, I'm seeing the dragon here, Chinese year of the dragon, whether it's yourself or this partner that is destined to be with or you are with already. I'm also seeing the Chinese year of the pig and the Chinese year of the goat. So um, these are the um, main sort of each one of you might relate to this in a different way. Some of you could be born in the Chinese year of the dragon and being with the pig. Some of you could be born in the Chinese year of the tiger and you're with, uh, with a goat. There's a goat there also, Chinese year of the goat. Those of you who are with the Chinese year of the goat or with somebody with a tiger, but there's a double tiger they're very strong now the last thing i'm seeing in this cup before i move on to um the rest of the things that the information or the messages that have come your guiding angels i'm seeing someone standing there hooraying sort of happy there's a gift a big amount of money is coming it could be inheritance could be a large sum of money it might lead to some sort of argument there could be an argument there could but there is a lot of happiness so you're standing there with your right hand up happy very like you know hey hooray but one hand up but um and and but there might be some arguments uh, there might be someone a bit uh, what's the word maybe they are a bit possessive or selfish or somebody that wants a cut from this big money but big money is coming and you want to control it well there is resistance to change affecting your judgment at this point in time when this money comes and i feel like there could be a contract that needs signing or an agreement reached here about this big amount of money. So you will be in the position of authority and know that you will be the authority here and you will do well with this big money. Paying attention to detail is going to be very important when you're doing that so that there won't be any mistakes, uh, especially with accuracy and with the wording, small words and, and whatever you do, don't invest in anything that's, you know, a, a get rich kind of scheme because it looks like you really need to apply this um, situation to upgrade your life to an investment or something in property, uh, this big money. Money. but you need to really pay attention so there won't be any mistakes in signatures and in the contracts and in small writings so that's that my dear view i hope you enjoyed it and now let's deliver to you these uh, messages uh, now your guardian angels are saying something about um a question um there is a blessing someone aquarius you might be dealing with someone aquarius there's aquarius here it says that there's a blessing someone's eye the, someone's eyes are on you someone's watching you someone's eyes are on you there's a big amount of money it's here big amount of money so it did come big amount of money it says freedom and 
transactions. This big, big amount of money is going to bring you transactions and it's going to give you freedom. Something about a Libra. Libra is here. Someone who is, you know, uh, under the sign of Libra. Uh, you know, they might have Libra within them, them very strong Libra. Some might not being able to, not able. Meditation. So it's probably meditation that you do need meditation, but you're not able to. Then you can do dancing or yoga. Um, any kind of contemplation helps. Something about your dreams. There's something about your dreams that's eating you up, perhaps. Things that you're seeing. Maybe it's your higher self, your intuition. Uh, sometimes dreams can be intuition, seeing the, for, you know, uh, the prophet, prophetic dreams of the future. And they could be a bit disturbing at times. So there's something about them that you need to talk about. Um, now, it says not easy, but worth it. There is something that's not going to be quite easy, but it's going to be worth it for you to do. Something about a dream catcher. Again, it's to do with your dreams. Something about your dreams that you need to pay attention to. Maybe it's your higher self, your higher, your intuition preparing you for something. Now, you've got to commit to peace, it says. Commit to peace. Analyze situations and see how you can commit to peace. Something very interesting is taking place. There's a need for time to get to know each other. You need time to get to know each other. Or somebody needs time to get to know you. Something is false. You need to be careful. Something is false. It's not true. And it says here, um, you will be happy when something is over. You'll be happy when something is over. There is something that you need to go through. There is a challenge um, that you need to um, go through. But you need to know one thing. Trust yourself and have faith that the guard, your guardian angels have got your back. That's very important. Now let's go for names. All the names that I've got here. We've got T for Tiger. I've got two M's, M for Morocco, Mexico. Those of you who are either yourself, this could be your initial, your beginning of your name, or it could be um, somebody that you're dealing with or your your um, person or your you know soulmate. So we've got M for Morocco twice. We've got R for Rome. We've got A for Apple, Alaska. P for um, Pony. J for Jamaica. L for Love. H for Honey. And I've got K for Kilo or Kiwi Fruit. And I've got double c for canada or ceiling is that a c or a g let me just check no it's a c yeah a c for um twice was given to me those of you with a uh, name beginning with c for canada now uh we go to the numbers we've got a few numbers here so i'm going to go through them quickly we've got number 10 which is all about one chapter of your life coming to an end and a new one preparing you for a new one 10 is also the chinese year of the rooster it could be yourself or the person you're dealing with. Ten is connected to somebody born in October, which is either Libra or Scorpio. We had Scorpio here. Uh, I remember there was a scorpion. And um, Libra was here, given to you, Libra. So they're the ones that are born in October. It uh, could be somebody born on the 10th of the month. And um, it's 10 days or up to 10 weeks for all about some chapter coming to an end in your life. Then we have number seven. Number seven is connected to the Chinese year of the horse. If you are or your person or somebody you're dealing with, Chinese year of the horse, it is connected to somebody born in July. Um, and it's also connected to um, freedom, spirituality and freedom. You need to be more spiritual. You need to be you, you need to commit to peace. And in order to commit to peace, you need a lot of um, spirituality and meditation, of course. Um, seven is also about seven days up to seven weeks that you will be feeling a sense of freedom, freedom, liberation from something and a lot of spirituality. It is also to do with someone born in July. You might be dealing with someone born in July. Um, also, we've got number one or oh, somebody born on the seventh of the month. Okay, somebody born on the first of the month, number one, one is about a new beginning, one is about Chinese year of the rat, those of you who are dealing with Chinese year of the rat, or somebody born in January, which is that Aquarius at the beginning when we had Aquarius, uh, Aquarius and Capricorn, they're born in January, but we had Aquarius uh, here ma mentioned, so we got one, one is one day or up to one year, uh, uh, one month, one day, one year, from the time you see this coffee cup up to one year, a new beginning is coming and it's going to give you plenty. Um, or somebody born in January, I said that. Now, the next number is number six. Those of you who are dealing with people born in the Chinese year of the snake, or if you are born in the Chinese year of the snake, or your person might be born in the Chinese year of the snake, and the snake is all about um, healing and love, love that will heal and prosper and have peace in it, um, healing because of love also. Six is also somebody born in June, which is yourself, um, my dear Gemini, and it's also Cancer. 
and we had the crab there too. So um, six is also about love and healing. Six days or six weeks, up to six months, a lot of healing, healing because of love, healing uh, due to love. Now, then we have or oh, somebody born on the sixth of the month. That's another thing. Now we've got number nine. Nine is all about Chinese year of the monkey, whether it's yourself or someone else. Chinese year of the monkey. It's also do somebody born in September, which is that Virgo. We had double Virgo there. Uh, September is also Libra. We got Libra. We had double Virgo. So remember that it could be someone that you are in love with, this person that you're destined to be with. Um, and, and also nice to do with, um, completion. It is to do with end of challenges, end of difficulties and coming to terms with time where you spend having fun together, traveling, having excitement. There is a beautiful travel here that is going to impact your life. Big travel. As you can see here on the side, you are going up to a place where you might be move, going somewhere and then going to another place, like extending your, your trip. I forgot to say that. That's very important. The nine reminded me of that because the nine is about traveling, entertainment, fun, doing fun things and happy things with um, people you love. And nine is end of difficulty within nine days, nine weeks of this cup. Um, all difficulties and challenges come to an end and prepare you for a happy time. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Lots of love to you all. Blessings and namaste.